after consulting with Naomi, Bobby and Alex head out on a mission to destroy the Tempest using what they learned from the transport freighter ship Intercept. This information reveals a blind spot in the Tempest sensor view that Bobby uses to sneak the White Crow close enough so they can send a small rocket with an antimatter bomb attached to destroy the Tempest. Unfortunately, Bobby's ship takes PDC damage upon approach. Bobby's co-pilot Rini Glauden is killed, but the antimatter bombs are untouched, seeing that she will no longer be able to get the antimatter bombs close with the rockets they had. She takes a final measure of using her Laconian power armor's thrusters to accelerate the antimatter bomb towards the Tempest. The heart of the Tempest had stood alone against the combined forces of Earth, Mars, and the Belt, and won. It had put all humanity under Laconia's yoke. It was the living symbol of why all resistance against High Council Duarte would always be in vain. When their sensors finished, their override reset. It was gone. Alex cycled between numbness and grief with the regularity of a clock. When he could stand it, he watched the news feeds from around the system replaying the explosion he hadn't been able to see because he was too close when it happened. The best one was from Earth. A handheld camera filming a child's kite competition was pointing at the right section of the sky when the light reached there, and the brightness against the blue had been like a small, brief sun, even at that distance. 